welcome once again again to my youtube channel <laughs> youtube channel intros are quite um weird can get used to them but anyways welcome and thank you so much if you are a new subscriber you did the right thing you're a smart person so today i am not alone i am in a tag collaboration with the beautiful Litsema and the gorgeous Kosiko. So today we're just gonna do a little get ready with us over question and answers and I hope you will enjoy. And for the most part, if you're a makeup artist or aspiring makeup artist, especially aspiring makeup artist, this is the right video for you. There are a few things that you're going to pick and probably go home with or go back to your business with. So just stay tuned and continue watching all right since this is my video <laughs> i have to go first so i'm going to first start by doing my eyebrows and uh my first question is what got you into makeup and how long have you been doing it what got you into makeup what got me into makeup and how long have i been doing it all right, so I have been a makeup artist for five years now. I started in the year 2015, 2015, yes, 2015 to be specific. That's when I really started to develop such a great passion for makeup. I, 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 I did love makeup before, prior, prior 2015, but I just wasn't into it to the point of um, calling myself a makeup artist or, really um doing it for, for 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 money or business so what had actually happened was that uh back in the village imaginary to be specific i i contacted someone in silly peak way to prepare and come and do my makeup my bridal makeup for the following day so we agreed yeah we, we seem to agree so i think so i thought then and when I call the person in the evening trying to confirm the times in which she'll be um, home to come and start my bridal makeup, she simply told me that she won't make it. She won't make it that early. Because the whole plan was that I should uh, be ready by 6 a.m. I should probably also start my makeup around uh, 5 or so. So the lady stood me up in essence. The lady stood me up and I really had no choice but to get whatever makeup products I had then and it wasn't anything much. I'll try to put up a picture of how I really did my bridal makeup. I don't like it when I think about it now, but I I, I mean I had to do what I had to do. You know, so I did my, my bridal makeup and I did my, my hair as well and then from there that's when i thought you know what what i went through concerning um makeup makeup artist was quite painful and i really did not know how to explain it to my husband not even my parents so i thought let me get into this thing and uh, my mission really will be not to disappoint so that's where jesse's makeup started and then i thought no one there's absolutely no one who who, who says come over and do my bridal makeup and um, they'll be disappointed. So my mission was, Jessica, no disappointment. So that's how I got into being a makeup artist. Who taught you or how did you learn? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube was my very first teacher. YouTube was my very first teacher. And, um, as a matter of fact, Joseho and Litsema were, were ahead of me. I, I found them in the industry and they would post. I don't know if Joseho had a YouTube channel by then. I think so. I think so. Because I remember also seeing Litsema's videos over Facebook. And um, I, was, I was so inspired. Like, oh wow, the ladies here and bots doing this what am i waiting for you know i thought it's important to also mention that i i am I'm, I'm now a full-time makeup artist 
when I started, um, I wasn't, I wasn't full time. There was a place where I was working at, well, obviously five, an eight to five kind of job. So I left. No, I'm lying. I did not leave it. I, I did not leave that place. I got fired. Yeah, I got fired. I got fired. <laughs> Is it embarrassing? I don't know. I got fired and then I did makeup full time. I never wanted to look for a job from there. So pissed. So pissed. <laughs> I must say I was so pissed. So pissed. I never wanted to look for a job anymore. I just thought, no, I'm not going to go through that again. So YouTube again at that point in time was like my bestie, my best friend because I absolutely had no one to ask. I was a bit shy to um, bother. I'm looking for an eyeshadow here. I can find it. What is your favorite part of the makeup process and why? What is your favorite part of the makeup process and why? So my favorite part of uh, doing makeup, ah, uh, I've got two favorite parts, actually. I don't know if this would be fair for me to say that. I don't know if, if yeah, but yeah, I've got two favorite parts um, of the makeup process. And one of them, as many might know, is my eyes. I love anything to do with eyes, eyeshadow to be specific. I love the eyeshadow process so much, so much, so much. I don't want to comp compromise. <laughs> Anyways, I love the eyeshadow area so bad. That's just one area I really don't want to compromise. I want to show off as much as possible. Um, yeah, I, 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 I love anything to do with color, actually. So, yeah. So my second favorite part of the makeup process is uh, my lips. I love my lips. I love, my lips are thick, very thick, the full lip, and I just feel, hey, why not? It's a canvas for lipsticks, so I might as well do whatever I want. So I love my eyes, I love my lipsticks, my, lip, <laughs> my lipsticks, <laughs> I love my lips. And um, this is why um, I love those two parts of my face when doing the makeup process so yep what is your least favorite part of the process and why i think my least favorite part of doing the my makeup it would be the eyebrows eyebrows take long guys eyebrows take long eyebrows take long they need a sense of perfection um i mean if your eyebrows are just wrong everything about your makeup is wrong eyebrows oh my goodness eyebrows can be a nightmare eyebrows can really be such a nightmare so i would say eyebrows because they take long they take most of my time really like right now i'm doing foundation in the next three minutes I'll be done. I'll be super done with my foundation. So, yep. What did you struggle with the most when becoming an, a makeup artist? I think I struggled the most with um, just knowing that there is no one template to doing somebody's brows. So how did I overcome that? Just the realization that um, Faces are different. Like I had to get it together and realize that faces are different and you have to understand people's shapes and how brows should sit on people. My worst makeup experience. Hey guys! Wow. I actually... <laughs> I can't believe that I actually forgot about this. Like this tortured me so much that I needed to forget that it ever happened. So 
It was a couple of years ago and there was this lady that I met through Instagram and she was getting married. She lived abroad and she booked me and she was like, okay, um, I want you to do my makeup for Mama Hadi. And she said to me, um, because I live abroad, I don't know how I'm going to pay the deposit. And I said, you know what? It's fine because I trusted her. Like it's somebody that I had talked to on, on Instagram and I just felt, I just felt like I could trust her. You play yourself. The day before we spoke, what have been speaking? Like, like during the week, Helen Rebua or okay, she, are you still booking? And she was like, yes, I am. And I told her, um, please do make the deposit. And she said, oh my, and she, she talked about how her card or something like that, but she had technical issues um, and she couldn't re really deposit the, the deposit. And I was like, okay, no, that's fine. It's the weekend of the wedding and of the Mahadi. And Gaza Male, the lady who was, um, I was working with at the time, we set out on our journey to where they're from. And I said, really deposit. So I'm using my own full money to, to pay for my, like I'm using on my own personal money to pay for my foil and all that jazz. Things that I don't usually use. Because I then charge for transport and, 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 and. So when I left Kaburun, I sent her a message that, oh, um, mommy, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the city. I then arrive in Nobaze and I don't know where I'm going. So I keep calling her, calling her, calling her, calling her. She's not answering, not answering, not answering, not answering, not answering, not answering, not answering. I'm getting very impatient at this point because it doesn't say my own money. I'm stranded in Nobaze and... I live all the way in Kaburun. She finally calls me and she's like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry about that. My phone name is Zeliko, my brother Nale, my tata, and she starts telling me that they were having problems with ABCD. Okay, yeah, no, but okay, my brother will call you and he will make way you will make way for my village. Okay, sure. The brother never called. I was there for like another 30 to an hour. And guys. I had to like travel back to Kaburuna because that lady never got back to me. Like she left me stranded in in Lubazi. And guys, she never reached out. Like the next day she didn't reach out to say, my darling, this and this went down. I'm so sorry or anything. Mm -mm. She didn't reach out until I reached out and I was like, oh my God, what she did to me was really um, unforgivable and rude. And I want my deposit. And I told her, and I want my deposit because when time makes it, it's enough. It was like, um, when I get back to the UK, I will make the transaction. Guys, that was like three years ago and I'm still waiting for her to arrive in the UK. I like that these questions were said in a way that you go from your worst to your best so you can like <laughs> pick up your mood because really who wants to continue with life after that kind of story? Anyway, so my best experience as a mover, like I've done I have amazing, I've had done amazing, I've done makeup on amazing women. Guys, I think that's the best experience about just doing this. Like I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of doing makeup on the most amazing women in this country. Question number nine. What is your favorite moment or highlight of being a makeup artist? That is hands down easily last year when <coughs> Last year when I was commissioned alongside other creatives to um, do a shoot for Vogue. So this was published, I was part of a photo shoot for Vogue and it was published on Vogue UK and Vogue US. Um, this is easily like just my favorite moment because number one, I love editorial um, and although this was a very um, the mood board on this shoot was very natural very very simple so I didn't do anything crazy or artistic um, but it still solidified me as a makeup artist because um, it just made me feel really validated a little bit you know because obviously I had to hand over my portfolio to an international agency so it was nice just knowing that my work was looked at and was kind of um, chosen to you know take part in, in, in a shoot like that that was a very special moment for me and I'll definitely never ever forget that
ever. Question number 10. What can you say to someone aspiring to become a makeup artist in Botswana? Um, somebody aspiring to become a makeup artist in Botswana, I would definitely say before you even go anywhere, you have to understand that you're going to have to have thick, thick skin. Like, very thick skin. I mean, once upon a time, I actually wanted to even like just quit and just stop doing it because I felt like it was so hard so you're gonna have to have very very thick skin and you're gonna have to be leaving yourself come rain or come sunshine you're gonna have to be like it's me it's me I am special I am good at this I love this and I am doing this and let no one tell you otherwise don't doubt yourself ask questions and ask anybody and stop learning oh and don't stop learning sorry <laughs> Don't stop learning. Question number 11 reads, who do you look up to as an artist or your admiration? I look to so many different artists for different reasons. Um, and that is because you can't always find one makeup artist that has everything, in my opinion. Um, so I look to... I looked at Vanessa Myricks and Linda Holberg for doing some really, really sickening editorial work. Like, they're so good, it blows my mind. And Vanessa Myricks is also extra special for me because she is a woman of color and she's killing it. She's got her own makeup brand um, and she's just like, she's sick. Um, her work is amazing. So, Vanessa Myricks and Linda Holberg for editorial. I looked to Mali Magic for her in depth product knowledge like that woman knows everything about products which ones to use for what situation like she's just so gifted with like um i don't know how to say it but like her product knowledge is insane and she also nails um doing um makeup on women of color like it just always mimics true tone and true skin she's just like sickening then i look to um hindash hindash is amazing he's um, a makeup artist in the Middle East and I just love the way he puts together a face because it's very artistic like he makes art when he's doing your face um, because he actually started off as an artist and then um, makeup Mario is definitely a favorite of mine I mean he like he can do no wrong um, but for me I don't really like makeup Mario to a lot too much for his work his work is great I love makeup Mario for the kind of person that he is um, I've watched a lot of um, a lot of interviews with him I've listened to a lot of interviews with him I've read a lot of interviews and he just sounds like such a good person he's so grounded and he's so humble and he's just so gentle and so kind that's the the kind of thing that I'm drawn to because I feel like there's so much power in that uh, as a person. I definitely have a lot more makeup artists that I'm like obsessed with. I think those are just the main ones that like stick out to me. Now the last question says where can people find you on social media and how to get into contact with you? So I have two pages on Instagram. I have my personal page and I have my business page. So if you want to reach out to me for business purposes, you can always reach out to me on Bagatai, Bagatai Makeup, that is my business page on Instagram and you can email and call, those are the two quickest ways to get a hold of me um, and then Facebook Bagatai as well, you can DM me or email me from there um, and then if you have any other questions just as an upcoming makeup artist or as a makeup artist you can reach me on my personal page Goose Katai. that's the one where I'm, I'm like on there every day um, so you guys can get a hold of me on there if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer and also on Facebook I am also always um, kind of active on there um, and that is Jose Hokatai on my Facebook page uh, so yeah if you want to reach out to me for business purposes email and phone call those are the best two options and if you just have your own personal questions you can hit me up on my personal pages so my social media pages for my business are beauty by lay on Facebook and underscore beauty by lay on Instagram my personal ones on Twitter and Instagram is litzama underscore lay and then on Facebook is litzama lay khaifeli the khaifeli has an H between F and E yes 
and this is how my look ended i love it i wasn't really sure about this whole blue thing going on but i like it i really do so mm. yeah so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the Zema and Khusiru's channels as well. And please do follow me on Instagram and whatever questions you have concerning makeup. Like always, feel free to DM me, darling. And I'll see you, see you, see you. Bye-bye.